Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Python for Beginners. This particular course is especially designed for the beginners. However, if you have a quick look, it can sharpen your fundamental knowledge of Python because we will be working step by step and this chronological order will help you to learn the things in a complete manner. This particular course will be consisting of several playlists and in every playlist we will be focusing a particular topic like this playlist focuses on NumPy. So without any further delay, let us go to the coding interface. So initially I have taken a text cell and I have written something like welcome to pioneer of success. This is not important with respect to learning. So then what I have done is I have taken a cell by clicking here and in this cell in the first line in every python code you have to call for libraries. If you have some library then you have to call for it. So after hash you can comment. So this is importing library. So we import numpy as np. So what does it mean? This numpy is a library like when we were doing C, C++ we used to use header files and those header files were kind of parent thing of a particular code. If you are like if you are trying to do some mathematics we used to call math.h library. Similarly, here we have library instead of header files and numpy is a particular library and we are calling it and the syntax is import numpy as np means this np is the short form. So if we import it as np then in our original code we can write np instead of entire numpy. So this is the logic. So after that I click on the cell and it is showing me green tick that means it is executed successfully that means the library is imported. Now I will show you very fundamental things like how to define an array because in numerical calculations defining an array that is a vector or a matrix those are very important because ultimately we will be utilizing all those things to carry out different numerical calculations pertinent to scientific and engineering background. So we'll come to that particular thing slowly but today let us show how to define an array. So say a equal to np dot array then you have to write a first or curved bracket within that a box bracket in the box bracket you have to write the element say 1 comma 2 comma 3 so the elements will be separated by 1 comma 2 comma 3 so whenever you try to write something the, you can see some hints are being shown so those hints talk about the array which we are using in a different video I'll explain about this help but today I'm not going to this location but I'll talk about it one day. So once I do this then I can execute. So I can see this is executed properly but I can't see A. So for that what I can do I can print A. Print within a bracket A. Simply if I again execute it it will show me the vector or array 1 comma 2 comma 3. In Python it is even easier if, even if you if you don't have to write print a if you just type a and click here you will be I mean it will be shown. So either you can print it or you can just put as a. So this is a one dimensional array. Now let us define a two dimensional array say b equal to you have to write np dot array again within first or curved bracket then a box bracket within that you have to write the rows 
in other box bracket so within a first within a box bracket again we take a box bracket and we write the elements say 1 comma 2 comma 3 so those are the elements of say first row then again a comma again a box bracket and the elements of the second row say 3 comma 5 I am writing it randomly again a comma and within a box bracket the other elements say 4 comma 6 comma 9 so this is how it is defined now this is a 3 by 3 array you can see I just write B so that after clicking I can see the array so you see this is the first row this is the second row and this is the third row so this is how you can actually define arrays now let me show you some operations like I have taken A let me redefine B as a one dimensional array again you can redefine anytime say np dot array within bracket again a box bracket say 2 comma 3 comma 5 now if I again write b I can see b so my b is this now say I want to add these two arrays a and b you know in order to add the dimensions must be equal now you can see the dimension of A is you have only three elements only one row and this is the B and dimension of A is also similar only three elements so let us write C equal to A plus B it's very simple as simple as it is if you then print C uh, not this just a minute C equal to A plus B then print C just write C you can see it has been added A was 1 comma 2 comma 3 so 1 plus 2 it is 3 again 2 plus 3 5 and 3 plus 5 8 you can see A and B we have added successfully instead of add instead of addition if you just write negative you can do this so this is very simple now what you have to do is you can actually have multiple such arrays now sometimes what we what we need is we need to define say all ones in a matrix so how to do that say c equal to for writing ones will be write np dot ones and within bracket we can write the dimension say we want to write three ones so you can see there will be three ones yeah okay if i want to write say zeros then you have to write say d equal to np dot zeros again three i'm just randomly taking three so we have to print D so you can see all our zeros okay now what if we want to make it 3 comma 3 we can do it let's let's let us just see whether it's happening no it's showing an error so within the box bracket if we put it you can see so this is the syntax if you want to have two dimensions then within a box bracket you have to represent okay so d equal to np dot zeros 3 by 3 so instead of zeros if you again write ones then it will give so this is how you can actually define your arrays and you can play around with the arrays so in this video we have just covered how to define arrays in the next video we will show you few more operations with numpy so today we stop here